I am driving back from rehearsal right now, and that's why I look like this, no makeup, I look like a wreck, I know. But this is actually a very important tip, important tip. So there you were in rehearsal, and this girl was having a bad day and completely lost it. Okay, so she didn't completely lose it, but she said some choice words, um, basically saying that today she just doesn't give, really give a care. That's the edited version. And the choreographer was just like first shocked and we all like just stood there in silence like did she seriously just say that out loud like usually in your mind you would say those kind of things um, maybe not the curse words but you would say them but this girl just said it out loud and so matter-of-factly and the choreographer was so so offended and I really can't blame her for being offended I mean I would be super offended if someone was you know you would spend we'd spend weeks working on this show um, little performance for a Christmas choir and then she's like I just don't care today like I don't know what I would do the card for but I'm pretty sure I probably would have kicked her out too and it's hard because the rest of us dancers now have to reteach it to someone else and then learn it with that person and and it kind of you know it, it throws off the feng shui of, of how it was going to begin with now it's like a whole new piece the whole new person so again, tip number one, always remember to be respectful. It's all about, about that song, R-E-S-B-E-C-T. Have a little respect, people. And if you do, you'll have a lifelong career in dance. And better yet, when you brush shoulders again, because the dance community, community is so small, you will brush shoulders again with these people. You'll be so glad you kept those thoughts to yourself. And so will this, because we don't want to have to dance again. Or like relearn the formation, so I'm talking about.